Salute is a program for and about men and women who have served our country. Our program includes news about the laws that affect veterans, information on benefits and services, and news from veterans organizations. And now, our host, Bob Peters. Hello and welcome to Salute. I'm your host, Bob Peters, and I have the pleasure of having Mr. Joe Patton with me, who is the uh, Veterans Program Manager uh, for Workforce Central Florida. Did I get that correct? That's correct. Which is a nonprofit, but you're a state employee. That's correct. So tell us a little bit about yourself, Joe. Well, uh, I uh, grew up in Missouri um, and uh, joined the Marine Corps. At, uh, right after high school, as a matter of fact, I, I left high school early, uh, graduated in mid-year, and uh, went with a couple of buddies of mine. And we ended up in San Diego uh, in boot camp. And I thought that was the biggest mistake I've ever done in my life. But uh, later I found out I made it a career. Uh, ended up uh, being in the infantry, uh, uh, what they call 0311, a ground pounder, just a basic rifleman. And then um, I decided, well, I want to get out and, uh, you know, I hate humping and I hate doing all this stuff. Uh, so I decided to become a legal clerk. Tried that for a while and ended up progressing all through the uh, administrative side, among other things. Uh, had uh, a lot of different duties uh, with that and uh, ended up in uh, uh, North Carolina. Uh, Marine Corps Air Station New River in uh, uh, 1992 where I retired and uh, for the first time or I got out during the uh, downsizing mm -hmm. in the early 90s when they did the VSI and the SBI uh, bonuses for uh, you know they were just trying to downsize the military so I, I did that and then I went into the reserves and uh, was with the uh, uh, Iron Gators amphibious unit in uh, Jacksonville. Uh, I did that to keep my sanity <laughs> <laughs> because uh, once you get out it's difficult, to, the transition is difficult. Um, and then uh, I found a place with uh, the school system in uh, St. Johns County. I worked there as a uh, human resource coordinator uh, went for the, uh, the school district area. I was an area coordinator and then I uh, went to, uh, uh, was recalled after 9-11, uh, after spending about 13 years there. Uh, recalled into 9-11, and then I went to uh, Quantico, Virginia, where I was um, in charge. I was the senior enlisted advisor for the recall for the Eastern Seaboard. Uh, I did that at the Reserve Support Unit in uh, Quantico. And then I went to... Uh, security battalion at Quantico and became uh, one of the uh, company gunnies and then I was a, uh, a first sergeant, acting first sergeant there for uh, security battalion, uh, which was an MP unit, military police unit. Uh, after that, then I was went to CENTCOM for a little while uh, down in Tampa and then I went back to the MP battalion. So I went all around and then uh, finally my orders were up uh, in uh, 2004 and uh, I retired in uh, 2005. Uh, got out, came back. Figured, you know, my um, uh, I was back at the, the school system for about a year, and then uh, my job had been eliminated due to budget cuts. Oh yeah, we know yep, about that. Yep, yeah, yeah. So um, I found a home with Home Depot. I was an HR manager for Home Depot uh, in uh, Port Orange, Florida. Uh, just south of Daytona. I was there for about eight months and I got a call uh, from a recruiter at Palm Beach County School District looking for an HR manager. So I was interested in that and um, found myself down there for a couple of years uh, gearing up. And then another uh, budget crunch came and I was let go. Yeah. Uh, in the meantime, I had earned a, a master's degree and uh, was teaching for, and, and I still am teaching for the University of Phoenix, uh, teach a master degree program there. Um, oh, you're a busy man. I'm a busy man. And then uh, I found a home. I, I got married, actually, when I was unemployed. 
My wife and I were both unemployed. And, I was going to uh, say you married her. So she well, you know what? Well, we, right? <laughs> we met at Home Depot, so <laughs> yeah. so uh, we we married. So and then we moved to to this area. I didn't know anybody in this area, and I found a position as a uh, veterans rep here in Leesburg. Uh, so that's where I progressed, and I've been promoted up to uh, currently uh, veterans program manager, and um, I've been working on a on my PhD. Uh, in human resources and management, uh, almost finished with that. So uh, oh. I'm doing my dissertation now. Yeah. Oh, that's great! Yeah, I'm a busy person. Yes, you are. <laughs> and uh, how did you wind up with the uh, workforce Central Florida? Just uh, well, I was uh, I was actually just uh, going to the office, the reemployment office, and. It, Workforce Central Florida. And they said you're here enough. And, miles of hire. Yeah, you know they got tired of seeing my face. So, <laughs> <laughs> no. But uh, one of the vet reps called up and said, "Look, you know, there's a vet rep opening. Uh, you know, would you be interested in it?" And I said, "Sure." So I applied for it, and um, and I and I was hired. And uh, since then, it's just been upward mobility since then. So yeah. it's, it's got to be doing. very rewarding to help people. That find jobs and stuff. It is. And, you know, uh, I enjoyed Home Depot, but, you know, it's, it's a different side. It's not public service. It's not the military. It's, it's a make-money machine. Yeah. And, <clears throat> uh, and I just wasn't really satisfied there. You know, I'm, my, I'm most satisfied helping people. And, and that's why I took the job. Uh, and I've had other job offers, but I really enjoy helping the vets. Uh, I like I like doing it, and, and the program has progressed from when I started, which is a good thing. So now, workforce Central Florida, you deal with veterans, or do you, you deal with the everyone? We or? we deal with everyone, anyone that's unemployed, or if you're looking for a job. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, we deal with uh, individuals that have lost their jobs, that are going to lose their jobs, um, that are underemployed which uh, maybe they're just not making enough money and they need to find a better job. We can assist them that, with that. Um, and, uh, you know, all those other tools that they might need to become employable. Uh, maybe they're having trouble with uh, buying food. Uh, we house the SNAP program, which handles the food stamp program uh, or uh, food assistance program. So. We, we house a, a bunch of programs that are in line with the state. So we, and we are the state's uh, uh, regional workforce board. We're region 12, there are 24 boards, and we're number 12 in the central area. And we handle uh, Lake, Sumter, Orange, uh, Seminole, and Osceola counties. Mm -hmm. So you'd, uh, what are some of the programs you'd like to fill people in about what you, what you do for veterans, because this is a basically a veterans right. show. Absolutely. Well, uh, as I said, I'm the veterans program manager, so uh, what I want to talk about is, is the veteran staff, because not a lot of people understand what the veteran staff is and what they do. Uh, first of all, the, the veteran staff, they're, they're called DVOPs and LEAVERS, and, and uh, the DVOPs are the Disabled Veteran Outreach Program where those, those individuals come out and they help disabled vets uh, overcome barriers to employment. So if an uh, individual comes in, they might have PTSD, they might have some other obstacles that are preventing them from getting employment. They try to get the resources or refer them to resources that may help them overcome that barrier. Maybe it's uh, their resume just isn't right or, or something of that matter. So we sit down with the veteran, we, we try to, to uh, get to know them, uh, and then try to assist them the best way that we can. And it's an ongoing process, it's not just one visit. It may take however many visits it takes to, to do that. So we work one-on-one -on -one with them. Um, another thing that they do is they do outreach to organizations that may have those tools. So we try to partner with those organizations, you know, the Salvation Army, uh, the Veterans Administration, all the those vet center. the vet centers, uh, all those places that we we do outreach to, and they do outreach to us as well. So it's 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 a it's a team effort to mm -hmm. to do this to to help our 
our brothers and sisters in arms. Uh, you know, they served our country, so it's time for us to serve them. Um, so that's the DVOP part. Now, the, the lever part is the local veteran employer representative. This individual goes out and partners with employers to try to find jobs for the veterans that come into the office to help, you know, that we help and assist. So we have a one-on-one -on -one relationships with a lot of employers around. Uh, we also partner with uh, the local SHRM. I'm, I'm a member and a board member of SHRM uh, right here in Leesburg, Society for Human Resource Management. I'm glad you explained that. I, I, I knew it. <laughs> I was looking you in your eyes. You can tell by the blank uh, look in my eye. <laughs> What's he saying? Yeah, well, it's a national organization. Uh, uh -huh. And uh, many, many um, uh, human resource uh, professionals belong to that organization. Uh, it's, it's a... Uh, a designation to say that you are a professional in this field. So we do partner with them. As a matter of fact, we just started a new initiative uh, with the SHRM here. It's called Vet Connect. And uh, what we do with them, this is just to give you an example of how we work together with other organizations. Uh, the uh, local SHRM, they have over 120, 130 members. Uh, for Lake and Sumter counties. Mm -hmm. Now these are all uh, HR managers, um, business owners, uh, you name it, they belong to the organization. So that, we partner. That sounds like a great organization. It is a great yeah. organization. It's, it's a great organization and it's nationwide and actually it's worldwide. So it, it's very good. It's uh, headquartered in Alexandria, Virginia. Uh, but the local SHRM and the Vet Connect, what we do is um, we take, uh, it's a mentoring system uh, where we take uh, veterans that come into our office that we're helping and once they become employable or if they want to change fields, we will connect them with an expert in that field that will help them transition. Oh, that's good. Uh, not only transition, but hopefully uh, that individual may have a lot of contacts that could eventually get this individual job. And that's our ultimate goal get them employed, self-sufficient. Mm. So that's, that's one, way work, one way we work. Another way, uh, uh, to give you another example, is that um, we work with uh, many companies like Lockheed Martin. They're, they're a big supporter of our, our organization and what we do. And uh, we just had uh, them come down last year and we're getting ready to do another one. Uh, they gave uh, mock interviews for all those individuals that were targeting their organization. So, and when I say mock interviews, they were uh, designed to help those individuals with their interviews with the managers inside that organization. Uh, now, the good thing about it was that the actual hiring managers were doing the mock interviews. And uh, during that, that period, several individuals got hired right on the spot. Oh, good. So, you know, that it, it really did uh, happen, and, you know, it was a great, great uh, event. Uh, so we're getting ready to have another one. Uh, so those are just a couple of things that we do to help uh, the veteran staff. With that. That's great. Uh, Personal experience, you know, I was telling you a little mm -hmm. bit about this before we aired the show. Right. That when I got out of high school, it was 1966. And there was, you know, everybody told me, come see me after you fulfill your military obligation. Right. There's no way you were going to get a decent job. Exactly. And I wound up, I enlisted and I did my thing. But when I got out, I went to uh, interviews and the power company hired me. Mm -hmm. And I really think it helped the fact that I was a vet. And do you see a lot of corporations coming to you saying, hey, look, we, you know, we can get a vet, we want them? Absolutely. We have, um, we have organizations calling us all the time, uh, sending us information about, uh, you know, hiring vets. And yes, we want to hire vets. Uh, we have employers coming to us. Look, I got this job, but I want to hire a vet and only a vet. They're the best workers. You know, they show up. Uh, the main thing with employers that I found is, is, you know, they're looking for good people. They want people to show up to work. They hire people, they don't show up. Yeah. Well, the and, military you know, does instill that discipline. They, they seem to do that, no, yeah. 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 I'm not sure. Whether but, you want to or not. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you have a little choice. Yeah. But, <laughs> 
But yes, that's true. Uh, and um, you know, one way we help with that is we, we do send all the jobs that we get to, to all of the vet reps. And uh, we try to send out all of the uh, uh, job fair announcements through our website. Uh, our website's uh, Workforce Central Florida. You have to spell it all out, dot com. Uh, and like I said, it is the regional workforce board in the area. So we are the reemployment office of the Central Florida area. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, another thing that we do is that uh, individuals that, that need some assistance, even if you don't have uh, a computer or a fax machine, you don't have to go to Staples or the library. You can come to our offices and use those tools. You can come in and use the computers to print off resumes if you need to. You can update your resume. You can, you can um, uh, come in and use the fax machine. You don't need to spend three, four, five hours at, at another organization or another place to send a resume. You can come to our office and do it for free. Hmm. Uh, now that is if it's job related. It has yeah, to be job yeah, related. Not, but that's, go on the that's what we get funded for. It's going to cost you nothing. Uh, you know, it's free to, to those looking for work. Um, so our offices, you come in, it's not going to cost you a dime. Uh, and one thing that, that the individuals do need to do, uh, especially if they're on unemployment and receiving that, which is a requirement, is to register on employforda.com, which is the state's uh, job site. Now, if you're receiving unemployment, you ha that is one of the requirements that you are registered in there. Now, that's a tool that we use, and employers use that tool as well to look for candidates to fill their positions. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's an important thing. A lot of people, there are over probably around 6,000 veterans right now, and only four, about 4,500 are registered in EFM. About 6,000 unemployed veterans. And so we're missing a little over 2,000 veterans that aren't even registered in EFM. So they're being looked over, you know, passed over because they're not there. Well, I'm glad you came on. You can, yeah. uh, maybe somebody's watching this, they can pass the word. I hope so. You know? I hope so. Uh, we, are, we are seen on uh, the World Wide Web at uh, lakefronttv.com. I'll throw that out there. <laughs> we also have a very good uh, archive. You can go right in there and see some of the past shows. I you will be that. in there. You will be in there eventually. Oh, that's scary. I've got to get Matt working on it, but uh, yeah, you'll be yeah, there. That, that's scary. People need to put some special glasses on to see that. Yeah. But you have uh, offices. Uh, I mentioned the fact that we're on the, on the web because you have offices in Orlando, uh, Sanford, Kissimmee, and right here in Leesburg on 100, uh, 1415 South 14th Street, which is 27, mm -hmm. right? That's right. That's right. And uh, Suite 100, uh, you have a phone number here for the Leesburg office. It would be 352. 360-6280. That's right. Eight. We also have an 800 number if if somebody wants to to find out about more services. It's 800-757-4598. Uh, so if if uh, you know they lose that number or they can't you know connect with someone, they can call that 800 number and an operator will answer it and they will get you know to where they need to be. Yeah, because you, so you guys don't really. Get uh, you never see any commercials about you or anything on the air. No, and the, and the one reason for that is, uh, you know, we're we're funded out of the Department of Labor, uh, and that funding is only for salaries. We only get funded for staffing, so you know it's very. Um, uh, it, this is a great tool for us because we can get the word out. A lot of times when we go see employers. Uh, they're, they think we're trying to sell them something, but in fact, we're trying to help them hire veterans, especially government contractors. Uh, we do work with uh, the Department of Labor a lot with um, Office of Federal Compliance, Contract Compliance. Uh, so we can help organizations in their affirmative action plans to reach out to veterans and hire veterans. Uh, the Department of Labor, Labor comes to us first if they're going to audit a, a uh, organization and they ask us, are we working with this, and have they hired veterans, and uh, are they registered in Employee Florida as an employer? So that's one report that we give them before they're audited. Hmm. 
You know, there's a lot of talk about jobs and the unemployment. Uh, what is your is your record as far as finding jobs? It's a tough market out there, is it not? It's it's a tough market. It is. Uh, when you're talking about uh, veterans only, uh, one of, one of the things that we do is uh, you know help them transition. Uh, sometimes they're their resume is not right. Uh, it says the long, wrong acronyms, maybe, or too many acronyms. Uh, so some individuals just cannot understand. I, I went through the same thing when I got out the first time, uh, when I was discharged. Uh, you know, I was an admin chief, and I thought, you know what? There's no problem. You know, me. Yeah, the, the job. world's looking for me. Yeah. yeah, they're looking for me. They want yeah. me bad. So um, I went through the TAP program, Transition Assistance Program. I tried to learn how to do my resume, but you know what? There just wasn't enough information there, and I found my resume being, sent, you know, just decline, 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 and I, I just couldn't figure it out. Well, you know, I was putting admin chief on my resume instead of person, you know, human resources, so that was a big change mm. for me. Um, didn't know anything about SHRM, Society for Human Resource Management, and found out that, you know, I need that certification, a PHR certification, which is a professional in human resources. Didn't know anything about that stuff. Hmm. So, uh, you know, we have members getting out that, that need that information, and that's some things that, those are the types of things that we provide to help them become employed. Uh, now, when we're talking about employment, you know, there are a lot of variables involved in, in becoming employed and coming to see us. Uh, so we, within that, we have about between a 15 and 20 percent rate, a success rate in finding jobs for the veterans. Uh, overall, we have around 40 percent for all the reemployment uh, hmm. in the area. So one of those factors, uh, the reasons is, is a little low, is because one, um, they don't come back and see us a lot. So we see them, and those, that's the types of numbers that we include in those uh, figures, how many individuals we see in a year. So uh, with that, you know, they might come and see us once, and that's just not enough. You've got to keep coming back. If your resume isn't working, come back and see us because we need to, to uh, edit that and review it and see if there's something else that we can do, change it. Yeah. You know, there's, there's probably a lot of guys and gals who just come out of the service they never did a resume in their life. Exactly. I, mean, I remember when, when I, you know, because I, I went right from high school pretty much right into the service and came right. out. And uh, I got, I put together a resume. I don't remember who got me started, but I was still in the, in the Air Force at the time. I sent it out and I had a job waiting for me when I came back. It was a job that wasn't the greatest job, but it right. got me started, <laughs> you know. But so you would help somebody uh, if they came in and said, hey, look, I don't, I don't know what a resume is, how to do a resume. Would we you, do. We do help them with that. We we have we also have uh, classes uh, that will help them uh, develop their resume. Uh, we have classes that will help them uh, with their interviewing skills, uh, with their uh, what we call the elevator speech. You know that thirty second speech that uh, you're talking to somebody in the, in in uh, a lunch line or something or. Uh, waiting in line to pay for something, and they happen to own a business. Mm. Uh, so it's that little speech that might first get impression. you. Know, first impressions are everything. So with that, um, you know, having uh, just a little thing like a, an email address uh, for an employer on a on a resume could be the difference between getting an interview and not. Uh, just one of those little things that people don't realize. Um, that and social media as well. So employers look at social media. So one thing we tell them is. Watch what you put on Facebook and all those things because other people can get access to those types of things. And uh, not to say that they would, but they could. And uh, that could be a difference too. And a lot of people don't understand, you know, don't, just don't think about that when they're, when they're putting things on. Yeah, them. That, that, that Facebook stuff, I've, I've seen it happen with some uh, friends of mine. It's stuff that goes out there they should never put out there. And it's, it's, it's wide open, you know. I mean, yeah. No, I mean, it's just, you know, my neighbors came world. to me last night and said, oh, you know, you had steak for dinner. You know, how was the steak? And I said, what are you talking about? Well, your wife put on there that you had steak last night. Oh, so they already know how I had dinner and what I had. And, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. so, but just a little thing like that could, could make or break you. Uh, 
you know, in the interview process or try to get you the interview. So, and the resume is a very important tool because it's, it's the first thing, that's, that's the tool that gets you at least a phone call or something. So we want them to come in to let us look at their resumes or, you know, just get anybody to look at your resume. But we deal with it all the time, so come and see us about that and about other, other uh, uh, tools that we can give them that may help them with this. Uh, another thing we have on our website is called Optimal Resume. And it actually goes in and you can actually do a mini um, uh, interview. It has an in a virtual uh, uh, interview uh, uh, employer interviewing you and you're answering questions and you can play it back to see how you answer them. Oh, that's So it's actually a pretty good tool. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and being with a resume, some people don't realize if you volunteer like with Habitat for Humanity or you, you do something with a church group or a veterans organization, if you put that in there, they look at people that are, are doing do. that kind of stuff do. too. And uh, the one thing that we try to get them is networking opportunities because, you know, uh, just putting resumes out uh, electronically, that's not going to get you a job. No. Uh, you've got to network. You've got to get out there. And I can't stress that enough, you know, network, network, network. And that's that's what works. Mm -hmm. That's what works. Network is not just opening up the newspaper and looking into a help uh, Unfortunately, ad. no. It's getting out, doing volunteer work, maybe at the hospital if you're targeting a hospital or, or wherever, or you know, uh, doing a build for Habitat Humanity, uh, because there's a lot of business owners that go out and and do those types of things. So uh, you you can actually uh, pick up work doing that. So uh, I'm going to one more time with the phone number for here in Leesburg. It's 352-360-6280. Uh, uh, you prefer people go through there than other than you because you're, you're uh, your main office. You're all over, right? We are. So if, if, if they're in Lake or Sumter, that would be the number to call. Uh, or if you're, you're somewhere else and you're watching a program, you can call 800-757-4598. Well, I want to thank you for your service, sir. I want to thank you for coming on, and hopefully this will get out there and uh, we can help some people get jobs. I hope so. Sounds great. Thanks, thank you. Joe. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Well, thanks for coming. Uh, and this is how we do this. To all our veterans out there, our active military and their families, we salute you for all you do. Till next time. now entering our third year salute here at Lakefront TV. We've had many great guests and veterans organizations share their stories with us. We'd like to hear from you too. If you're a veteran or a veterans organization, Lake Sumner counties, please give us a call. Lakefront TV can be seen all over Lake County and the villages and worldwide at lakefronttv.com.